One thing this pandemic has taught us all is that we continue to learn something every single day. And for parents, this coming school year will be one for the history books. You're anxious, you're uncertain, but it doesn't have to be that way. WMAR 2 News' Abby Isaac spoke with a professional today who wants to ease our minds. The psychotherapist says she's seen such an increase of stress and anxiety because of the pandemic and the changes it's brought. So returning a sense of predictability is key. As much as we try to say we don't like schedules and predictability, we do. That's the way, you know, it helps us function and to stay on task. Psychotherapist Annette Nunez has seen it with her clients. The sudden change from life as we knew it to the unknown, causing stress and anxiety heading into the new school year. She says bringing the predictability of in-school learning into virtual learning is important for student success. She recommends parents make a daily schedule, keeping in mind that kids' attention spans can't go longer than about 45 minutes. You can just get a blank piece of paper and write 9 o'clock math, 10 o'clock snack, 10.30 physical break, you know, 12 o'clock lunch, and it can be something as simple as that, but that way a child knows what's coming next and their day is predictable. She also says bathroom, snack, and physical breaks are key. And it can be simple things like running um, out in their yard or walking around the block. Anything that's going to get them up and moving is great. That helps with focus because we can't expect a child to sit for hours on end in front of a computer that's not realistic they're going to lose focus. And to help them stay focused during virtual learning, she recommends having them sit on a yoga ball. It keeps their body moving and some kids need movement to focus. And then also having fidgets. There's so many fidget toys that parents can buy, such as spinners, little these little bead magnets that work really well for kids. She also had some tips for parents who are juggling so much more than usual right now. She says, don't be hard on yourself and she recommends putting up words of inspiration around your home. So when you are feeling frustrated and stressed out, you can look at the wall that reminds you to breathe. You can look at the wall that says you're doing your best and it helps as little reminders to get you through your day that you are doing your best and you do need to take a break. She also says focusing on mental health is important and recommends family breathing and meditation exercises that can even be found in calming apps for your smartphone. For WMAR 2 News, I'm Abby Isaacs.